again, this is the document that was enclosed um, to the um, administrative judge uh, and uh, uh, Honorable George Craig Doran and uh, the, uh, his supervisee, Honorable George Alex Ramsey, uh, who supervised the uh, Limas uh, uh, Village Court uh, in Lima, New York. And it says here, um, patient, uh, uh, it says here, um, uh, University of Rochester Noise uh, Health, uh, date April 14, 2016. Um, Luisa Yarson is the patient. And it says here, um, emergency uh, location, emergency uh, department. And it says here, account number V0000495. 27555 and the doctors of uh, physician's name is uh, Dr. J. B. David uh, M. Middle Initial Jacobson, uh, which is uh, which was the uh, doctor that uh, administered the uh, emergency room's um, uh, care to elderly and chronically ill cancer dying patient Lisa Yarson. Uh, and prevent her from having uh, a brain hemorrhage by uh, um, uh, having continue, continuing to have uh, her severe migraine headaches uh, and um, uh, an epilepsy seizure. Um, so this, uh, uh, this is what it reads. Um, patient vision information, you were seen today for lung cancer, staff member, uh, your caregiver givers today were uh, physician Jacobson, David uh, M. Miranisha, and nurse K. N. R. R. And it says here patient instructions, uh, discharge information, lung cancer, migraine headache, uh, April 14, 2016. And there is a number there, 2133. Um, and it says here medication dose uh, and instruction, Fini. Uh, Phenytoin sodium or dilantin, uh, which is uh, her epilepsy medication, uh, 100 milligram caps um, and uh, uh, 100 milligrams orally three times per day. Uh, he says here um, the pain medication was hydromorphone, uh, which I uh, which is a narcotic. I assume uh, is. Um, uh, similar or stronger than uh, what uh, Luisa Yerson used to be given uh, in Westchester uh, County's hospitals, uh, which was morphine uh, because the pain went away. And uh, he says here, uh, orally, um, he, w he gave it uh, to take home also for her cancer pains uh, to be <coughs> calmed down. He says here, April 14, 2016 status EPD and it says here somatriptan succinate which is imetrix uh, a severe migraine headache medication uh, and he gave it to her injected instead of orally because it goes right into the blood streams and um, it takes the uh, pain right off uh, in less than an hour uh, so it says here uh, as needed for migraine headaches so this was uh, the paper that she got and it says here the other uh, that was the 14th of april on the 20th of april uh, uh, luisa yasun also had to be rushed again to the hospital um this way was because this this time it was because her body was uh being covered um by uh, um, open wounds and uh, 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 a rash uh, that appeared one day and the next day uh, it was more and the next day it was more so it was uh, covering her whole body at a tremendous pace so I, uh, I said well you know this is uh, this has this has to be seen by a specialist, a doctor, not a caretaker. 
uh, at home, so I uh, took I rushed her to the hospital, and she had um, shingles with a chronic cough from um, the cancer, uh, the lung cancer that she got, um, and uh, again the doctor um, it says here Jacob uh, David M. Uh, and the nurse was KNR. Uh, patient instruction uh, reviewed uh, um, benson benzone, benzonate by mouth, chronic cough, uh, and discharge information. Famciclover by mouth, which is uh, an antivirus. Uh, the antivirus is to be taken uh, three times a day, 500 milligrams uh, each time. And the uh, for the chronic cough, she couldn't get that medication because she doesn't have her um, New York State to medicaid, uh, and uh, which is the one that uh, pays for her medications. Uh, she only has a fraudulent medi medical insurance, which is Medicare Part B, as in boy, which uh, somebody filled that filled filled out an application for and signed her name without her uh, knowledge. Uh, or consent and uh, gave her that but that um, medical insurance doesn't cover her medications so um, she couldn't uh, take the cough medication so she continued to cough uh, even though she was coughing blood and um, the doctor said that he, he was sorry but um, the, the cough was not uh, uh, to be stopped uh, until the uh, cancer the lung cancer was treated so uh, this one was dated um, April 20th, 2016. Medica medication dosage, Famciclover, 500 milligrams tabs, uh, orally three times per day, per day and uh, benzano benz benzonate, um, 100 milligrams, 100 uh, orally uh, every six hours. Uh, and then this is here. This is the uh, medical alert card that uh, elderly and chronically ill uh, citizen Luisa Yasun has. Uh, and these are the medications that she takes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This uh, is updated. Uh, it says here updated on April of 2016. Um, it says here Lisa Yasun's list of medications. Okay, and this one has. Uh, okay. We saw yes on list of medication. Uh, this one is updated as April of 2016. It says here dilantin uh, hydromorph hydromorphone HC um, dilaurid or dialurid uh, two milligrams tabs orally every four hours as needed for uh, the lung cancer pain, uh, tumor pain. Somatriptan succin as 25 milligrams. Um, uh, five packs uh, of nine pills each pack as needed for migraine headaches. Docusate calcium 240 milligrams capsule 60 capsules uh, take one capsule 240 milligrams total by mouth twice per day. Multivitamin tablet uh, 60 capsules uh, two tablets by mouth daily. Sena 8.6 milligrams tabs tablet 30 tablets, take one tablet, 8.6 milligrams total by mouth, uh, nightly as needed for constipation. Tolerodine, 2 milligrams uh, tablet, nine tab 90 tablets, take one tablet, 2 milligrams total by mouth, daily. Um, Famciclover, 500 milligrams tablets. Um, folic acid, uh, one tablet, one milligram tablet, one time per day. Gabapantin, which is the same as Neurontin, uh, is the generic for uh, genetic name for Neurontin. Um, 400 milligrams 
capsule, 90 capsule, uh, um, and it takes one capsule three times per day. Uh, she takes one capsule three times per day. Okay, and um, is uh, the list of her medication continuous? He says here. Uh, Pantoprazole, Pant 20 milligrams, uh, EC tablets, 180 m tablets in sealed bottle, okay. He says uh, the pantoprazole is three times per day. That's the medication for her uh, three stomach ulcers. The other one is Peridium, uh, 100 milligrams orally. That's the medication for the bladder pain. Uh, it uh, eliminates the bla her bladder pains within uh, an hour. Uh, lidocaine, uh, 500 milligram, 500. Uh, per, I'm sorry, lid lidocaine, five percent patch, three boxes. That's the uh, um, one for the uh, muscle pains. Um, when she gets pain in her um, the uh, right lung. Uh, I put a patch, uh, a patch on it, and it calms her pain down. Um, the calcium plus vitamin D, 500 milligrams, um, is three times per day. Ivandrodrain, Ivan um, see, Ivan uh, sodium, which is uh, 150 milligrams one time per month, a pack for uh, a pack of three. So. Um, this is for the uh, for her osteoporosis because her bones are brittled due to uh, her osteoporosis and that's why when she falls she can break ribs and legs and arms uh, just for by falling on her uh, from her own two feet two feet um, because um, her bones uh, are brittled uh, and um, she hasn't taken uh, medication. Uh, for a long time, uh, I mean, she hasn't get, gotten uh, medical treatment for her osteoporosis for a long time. So this one is uh, the one. The other one is uh, Q10 vitamins for her heart. Um, Q10 vitamins, E and uh, fish oil, 150 soft gels, uh, 400 milligrams, one time per day. The, the reason why it has to be soft gels is because uh, she has uh, tumors in her thyroids that um, are not treated because she doesn't have her New York State straight Medicaid um, and she cannot see a doctor to get treatment for that um, and uh, her uh, throat is closing up um, it says here vitamin uh, vitamins D3 uh, uh, shower, uh, shower a chair uh, the reason is that, that uh, she is too weak to um, uh, be standing up in the shower, so uh, she needs to sit down uh, while uh, getting a shower. And uh, the walker with uh, breaks, because sometimes uh, she has such chronic pains um, uh, on her back that uh, she cannot walk straight and she cannot get treatment for that uh, because she doesn't have her um, medical insurance her New York State straight Medicaid the ones that uh, the, the medical insurance that she has is a fraudulent one and it doesn't cover uh, more than about 20% of her chronic illnesses you can see that next to each uh, some of the medications uh, it says run out she cannot get these medications because uh, many of these medications are um, covered only by her medical insurance, her New York State straight Medicaid, but since um, she doesn't have it, it disappeared at the hands of the Department of Social Services uh, Commissioner, um, Diane Dane. Uh, she cannot get treatment, and she's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Uh, in here, uh, I, uh, it says here, um, I called, uh, this is the other uh, attachment uh, that continues to read, uh, I called but no one picked up the phone, so I left you a message, and it says here, um, 
the name of center, uh, Professor Solange Martinez, uh, attention to Josh Elvira Lujoy and Harold Harris of Lima's Village Court, uh, September 7, 2016, uh, 585-624-6129, and the number of pages uh, is one. Uh, so that, that was uh, sent to uh, Josh Lujoy <coughs> when I was rushing uh, Luis Aviason with severe chronic uh, pains to the nearest uh, urgent care facility. Uh, dear Judge, uh, judges, uh, elderly chronically ill cancer dying citizen Luis Aviason and myself had a uh, an illegal eviction case hearing totally, uh, I mean, today. She continues to have cancer pains and severe migraine headaches. Her doctor told me that her uh, condition is guarded and I shouldn't take her care. Uh, I shouldn't take her out in a, a temperature like today's, 91 um, degrees, but I tried to do so and she became worse. Uh, please reschedule our hearing. Thank you. Uh, it says here, uh, her doctor's letter enclosed. Okay. And it says here, and this is the doctor's letter. And it reads, um, November 16th, 2010, to whom it may concern. Uh, this letter is to certify that Ms. Luisa Oyarzun suffers from the following conditions, uh, seizures, epilepsy, lower back pain, multiple sclerosis, degenerated joint disease, history of cervical cancer, esophageal ulcers, migraine headaches, two leaking heart valves, osteoporosis, uh, and arthritis, um, cervical cancer uh, procedure in 1971 and another one in 1998, but the cancer came back anyways a third time in uh, in her lung, uh, her lungs, and um, now she's dying of cancer. She's also hard of hearing, um, and she has problems with her pancreas uh, again also. So um, she's also going blind because of uh, an, un an untreated um, diabetes uh, that is affecting her um, eyes, uh, blood vessels. Uh, um, and making them leak, uh, and she's going blind due to that. So, um, since uh, she doesn't have her New York State straight Medicaid because it disappeared at the hands of uh, a commissioner of the Department of Social Services uh, of Livingston County, uh, Diane Dane, uh, she cannot treat uh, this condition, so uh, she has no other choice but to go blind. Uh, in addition to all uh, the other chronic illnesses that she has. Um, the letter continues to read, given her conditions, it is imperative that she has access to a telephone as well as electricity and heat. This is because if she doesn't, her life might be at risk since she needs assistance during and after an epilepsy uh, episode. Additionally, please note that this patient is homebound and cannot live alone. Her, her condition puts her at risk for possible falls and subsequent bleedings, for which she requires constant telephone electricity and the care of her caretaker. Thank you for your attention. Sincerely, um, Dr. Ida M. Miron Initial Cruz Soto, MD, uh, 200 South Broadway, Suite 104, Tarrytown, New York, 10591, um, phone number 914-631-1535. And the last time we saw Yerson saw um, the, uh, this doctor um, or any any uh, doctor that gave her um, medical care uh, was uh, for her chronic illnesses was on January 10th, 2013, when um, she uh, was told that she was not going to, her Medicaid was, New York State Street Medicaid was being confiscated by Kevin McGuire and um uh, she uh, wasn't going to take it. She wasn't going to have it anyway. So that, then we found out that uh, Kevin McGuire was selling it to illegal aliens across the country uh, in order for the illegal aliens to um, have med free medical care and free medication um, courtesy of the taxpayers. Um, the other enclosure was this... Um,
this prescription for her migraine headaches.